Ballet, books, poetry, a couple of how-to books on achieving orgasm. Oh, great. Now what? Did you find anything incriminating? Small arms manual, shoot to kill, hand-to-hand -hand combat. So? Unusual bedtime stories. That's my business. I assume you have a warrant. Save it. Hey, excuse me, I'm sorry to bother you. I really am. I know you're going through a tough time. <laughs> yeah, right. You know. I haven't slept a full hour since this whole thing started. Yeah. Look, I should be going, and I'm sorry, but I have to take these. It's not enough you hang me. I have to buy you the rope, too, huh? What have you got against me? I'm sorry? I don't understand why you hate me. Look, I'm not free to dis... I don't. Of course I don't. Then why are you... Look, doing... we really shouldn't be having this conversation, Mr. Biasi. I wouldn't shoot you! Don't you understand? It all became unreal. It wasn't happening to me. All I could feel was fear. I was afraid of them. I was terrified. Not because they were black, but because of who they were. I didn't mean to kill him. I couldn't make it stop. They wouldn't. It wouldn't. Please, that's enough. What if you were on a train and a bunch of rednecks started hassling you? Wouldn't you be afraid? Wouldn't you? Mr. Biasi, please. I'm sorry. I, I can't comment. I can't stay. Came by to give you my unconditional support. Only... Number one, tone it down a little. Number two, try a little damage control. PR's not my job. You seen the papers? DA, she was looking for it. Having a field day out there. I can't help that. Our whole strategy is sandbagging a self-defense scenario. Even if she comes off a revenge seeker with a hair trigger? She pulled off five shots in three seconds. Excellent. But it would be nice, real nice, we could have a concrete piece of evidence to support your revenge theory. Do you, sir? Paul. Shoot to kill. Damage control. I found all this in her bedroom. Check the dates. First one was six months ago. She's improving. Wow. What were the extent of those injuries? They were fairly extensive. Could you describe them for me? They were tall, muscular. One had an afro with a goatee. No, no, Miss DiBiase, I'll rephrase. Could you please explain and describe for the court the injuries? Oh. I had a shattered disc in my back, some broken ribs, torn cartilage in the right knee. And these injuries required several operations, didn't they? Yes, several. Three? Five? Four, I think. Five. I don't know. They hurt me. Isn't that enough? Yes, of course. And no one blames you for being resentful. These injuries finished you as a dancer, didn't they? Yes. That seemed fair to you? I object, Your Honor. What's the relevancy? I'll allow it. No. No, it wasn't fair. I think it's grossly unfair. I'm sure if I were in your position, I'd carry a nine millimeter too. Objection. Withdrawn. Miss DiBiase, in your dreams, in your fantasies, did you ever wish you'd gotten back at those youths? Objection. Objection, Your Honor, this is unbelievable. She was defending herself against a man who's been accused of multiple homicides. Mr. Moskett's priors have no bearing on this case, Judge, nor, of course, could she have known about them. Overruled. Besides, he wasn't the only threat, was he? 
Who else did you find threatening, Miss DiBiase? Mr. Chenault? What exactly did he say? He said, how about a taste from my friend? Which you took as an overture to rape? He was crowding me. He was right up against me. Who, Mr. Chenault, Mr. Moskett, both of them? Yes. No. I don't know, at least one. And you tried to get away? Yes, of course. The second time, too? Yes. That's why you shot him the second time, to get away? Objection, Your Honor. Why did you shoot Darnell Chenault a second time, Miss DiBiase? I was petrified. I wanted to make sure. So you said, here's your taste. You said, here's your taste. That sounds rather cool. Objection, Your Honor. No further questions. Mm -hmm. Mr. Biasi, you say you didn't have time to think. Nor should anyone be required to think when faced with grave bodily harm. The human response is not to think, but to react. Miss Green, get on with it. Detached reflection cannot be demanded in the presence of an uplifted knife or screwdriver. Objection, Your Honor. This has no bearing on why Miss DiBiase was this waiting. There's no bearing in the world, a lot more than the Jesuitical casuistry offered up by the district attorney. May we approach the bench, Your Honor? If you can be brief. Your Honor. The speed of the events, the time frame of my client's reaction is crucial to my defense. I'd like permission to stage a demonstration of the incident, if it please the court. Isn't this enough of a circus, Your Honor? I'll decide that. All right, but I warn you, Miss Green, I don't want to see any undue theatrics. Thank you, Your Honor. Ladies and gentlemen, the court has agreed to allow the defense to stage a reenactment of the occurrence in question. Crime Stoppers. Your Honor, these people are on record as supporting the vigilante tactics of the accused. If that's an objection, you're overruled. Proceed, Miss Green. How about a taste, baby? Oh, man, what the homeboy's doing knocking for the white folks? What the oh, yeah. Come on, come on, come on. Get off me, get off me, come on. What the boy is? 